What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. My name's Lloyd. So I've been getting a lot of questions about body language uh, from guys and so I thought I'd put this clip out there to show you guys what I think is good body language. I'm going to break down the important points of what I'm doing um, in this video. So it's a very short video clip of me talking to two models at a bar in Los Angeles. So I'm just going to roll the clip right now. Okay, cool. So hopefully you've seen some of the things, the nuances of what I'm doing. I'm gonna break them down for you. Um, and what actually happened with this was that uh, I was talking to these two girls for a while and then I went and I sat down next to my buddy and he said he talked to them for a little bit too. Um, and I asked him kind of how his experience was and he said that he felt like the girls were kind of cold and a little standoffish, um, which surprised me because they were not like that to me at all. You know, they were very friendly, they were very flirty. They were super nice. Yeah, I liked them both. But the difference is that we had two different experiences between us, and I think a lot of it has to do with body language. You know, they say about 80% of communication is nonverbal, and look, I don't know how they come up with that number, but it's way more than what you're saying. The way that you're standing, your movements, your posture, your gestures, all of that stuff, your body language matters a lot more than what you're saying. So in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what I think the most important parts are uh, from that video. But before I get into that really quick, if you are somebody who struggles with this, I recommend that you check out my live training schedule, uh, which should be in the link in the description below. Basically, I'll look at what you're doing and I'll tell you where you're doing wrong and how you can improve it. And you know, we'll go out together and do that whole thing. So if you're interested in that, check that out. Okay, first thing that I do that I think is really good that I think you guys all should be doing is eye contact. Eye contact is super important and I used to not be able to look people in the eye very well but I practiced at it and now my eye contact is you know great. Um, I look at people when I'm speaking to them, I give them the respect that they deserve and if you look at somebody when you're talking to them, you show them that you're interested in what they have to say and if you're interested in what they have to say, chances are they're going to be more interested in what you have to say. So in order to be interesting you have to be interested one of the guys who I think is super good at doing this is Bill Clinton so if you're looking for a guy with like tremendous eye contact I would take a look at Bill Clinton a lot of guys or a lot of girls who spoke with Bill Clinton they said that when they spoke to him he made them feel like the only girl in the world you want to give that feeling when you're talking to somebody. You want to give that feeling where you're totally focused, you're present to the moment, you're focused on them, all this other stuff going around doesn't matter, but they're the most important thing. You make people feel important and they're going to really, really like you. Now, a lot of guys have trouble with this because when they talk to a very pretty girl or a girl that they really like, they're shy. They can't do it. They can't look them in the eye very well. So they start to look down. They start to kind of like fidget and get nervous. So what I would invite you guys to do is to practice, okay? There's going to be a little little bit of discomfort when you're looking at somebody who you don't know very well or looking at anybody uh, is very troublesome for a lot of people so push through that initial discomfort and that way you can start having a connection with people um, you can do this while you're walking down the street and you make eye contact with somebody and it, the typical response is for us to kind of look away really quick or you know pretend like we're looking at our phone hold it for just a second longer than what you're comfortable with and over time you're gonna be able to build up that skill so when you're talking to a girl that is really attractive you're gonna make great eye contact Okay, cool. Step number two or tip number two that I think is a good thing to pick from this video is that I'm leaning back a little bit when I'm talking to these girls, okay? So a lot of guys I find that when they go into the bars, especially if they've had too much to drink, um, they are hovering over the girl. Like they're leaning over, you know, like they're kind of like in their face and the girl's kind of like, ugh, like, <laughs> okay. Don't do that, you guys, especially if you just started talking to them, okay? You're bigger than her, you're going to freak her out. Um, what I do is I kind of like lean back slightly um, and if you notice I'm kind of like leaning on this too and kind of very relaxed stance and so when people see me talking to these girls it kind of looks like they're talking to me and I'm the one who's chilling out relaxing so it's not only good for you to do it to the person that you're talking to because it helps them relax and it helps them uh, take the time to say hey you know I kind of like this person or or they don't feel pressured or feel uncomfortable. Um, but it also looks good for people that are watching you talk, which is you know something that goes on a lot, especially if you're in LA, you know? Like, uh, girls will be kind of looking around and if they see you like, like kind of uh, 
overbearing on this person, like you're leaning into them, well, then they're like, okay, I'm never talking to this guy because he's clearly being a creep. He's clearly like freaking these girls out and he has no social skills. Um, but the guy who's leaned back and has people kind of talking to him, that makes you look a lot better. It makes it, makes it look like they're flirting with me, not the other way around, which if you know anything about getting girls is a really good thing to maintain. So yeah, that's what I would recommend that you guys do. Lean back at first, and then once they start to get comfortable with you, once they start to square up, and they're cool with you being in their space, then you can come closer and um, you know take things to a new level. Okay, cool. So uh, the third thing that I would say is make sure to use gestures. I use a lot of gestures when I'm talking. You know, you can see in these videos, I use a lot of gestures too. Um, I think it emphasizes your points, it gets people more engaged, and you look bigger. Like, I take up a lot more space when I'm talking um, to people. Take up more space. It makes you look more authoritative, um, it makes you look more assertive, um, and in, in general, people who are watching you, it looks like the conversation's more engaging too. So, And people are gonna feel more engaged when they're talking to you as well. If you are just kind of stay, staying here and you're kind of closed off and you're just like, hi, I'm Lloyd, nice to meet you, cool. And you're not moving around a lot, like, <laughs> That's not a very exciting conversation. I mean, you could be telling me the craziest story of all time, but it's still gonna feel boring. You know, people feed off your energy, and a lot of that comes from your body movements. So I would invite you to use gestures and use big gestures, okay? Take up the space around you, okay? High value guys take up space. If you're afraid to take up space, start experimenting with that. Now, obviously, there's a point where you're being a douchebag where you're just like <laughs> taking up way too much, um, but the space that you have, be commanding in it, don't get shoved over, those types of things are very important. And this brings me to my fourth point, which is make sure your feet are planted, okay? If you're in a space, don't be fidgeting around, okay? It's okay for you to move your upper body and use gestures, but as soon as you start fidgeting, like with your feet, that shows people that you're nervous. That shows people that you're either trying to leave or you're uncomfortable with something. If you notice when I'm standing there, like, I'm not moving my feet very, I'm moving my arms, but I'm not moving my feet very much, and I look very relaxed with my gestures. The way that you have, the way that you communicate that to somebody is by not moving your feet. I would put them shoulder length apart, don't move them around too much, okay? Um, a lot of times the person who's fidgeting less in the conversation has more power. So people who see that, they, again, you look more authoritative, more assertive, and women are a lot more into that than the guy who fidgets and is insecure. Okay, uh, the final tip, uh, that I'm going to be giving you guys is to smile more. I don't know if you could tell, but uh, I smile a lot when I'm talking to a girl that I like, or I smile a lot when I'm talking to people that I like in general, you know? That is something that you guys, a lot of you need to work on, especially if you have a face like mine. <laughs> uh, I have a really angry face, and if I don't smile, people think I'm mad at them, or they think that I'm being super serious, and they feel like they can't joke with me, or they feel maybe a little intimidated um, by me. So if you're a person who has that problem, smile a lot. And if you are you don't have that problem, still keep smiling, because a lot of what's happening is people, uh, if you smile a lot more, people are gonna smile back at you. They're gonna like talking to you more. You know, if you think in your life, which kind of person do you like talking to more? The guy who's serious, the guy who never smiles, who's frowning all the time, or the guy that's happy, that's like, looks like he's happy to speak with you? Probably the guy who looks happy, okay? Don't be the guy who's frowning all the time. Okay, cool. So those are the main things that I would say are the most important from that video. Um, if you guys think of any tips, let me know. But one thing that I would say that I could work on a little bit was my head was, uh, was a little bit, was coming in a little bit this way. You know, your posture is very important. So, you know, try and keep your head up and stay, stand up a little straight when you're doing it, uh, especially if you're hunched over looking at your phone all the time, like you're gonna have poor posture, okay? I think having good posture can, you know, the way that you move can can raise your level. Like if let's say if you were, if people said you were like a six out of 10, you could easily be a seven out of 10 with like good posture and good movement. You know, so these things are very, very important guys. Okay, cool. Well, that's all I have to say about this, you guys. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. If you're interested in my weekly one-on-one -on -one coaching program, shoot me an email. Actually, don't shoot me an email. Uh, fill out the coaching form down below. There's gonna be a link to it in my description. So fill that out. If you seem like a good candidate, we'll email you back um, and we'll get to th get that thing started. So thanks a lot, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Good luck out there, you guys.